it doesn't make a sound. It's broken. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Look at this. I've just finished uploading the last video and now we've got sunshine. Time to fly the drone. But first I actually got my UNU electric scooter test ride and I'm quite late already now, so I need to rush. This is so cool, I love it. The back is so empty. The drone's in there and there's so much space. It's, I just love it. You might remember that it was here yesterday when it rained a lot. Today is far better weather. I'm pretty sure it's a better day to have a test ride with an electric scooter. I think I see the guy. He's over there. Hi. Servus. Sonne, ja. Sonne hast du mitgebracht. Hier ja, habe ich mitgebracht heute, ja. Zum Arsch kalt ist. Cool. So, here you got, uh, you got the battery. Oh, it's two batteries? Usually two? You, go, you only have one. Yeah. I brought my second one from Erlang because I have like six test drives yeah. outside okay. today. Yeah. We've got I heard this. it's like 50 kilometers per battery. Is that exactly, correct? Yeah. yeah. So that's guaranteed yeah. you, you definitely reach 50 kilometers. It's roughly a little bit more if you got the just one um, kilowatt um, scooter. Ah, and that's the smaller one. And yeah. it's probably exactly 50 kilom kilometers if you got the, the three Okay, kilowatt. Yeah. Yeah, so I think there are three models, right? There's a small, a small, medium, and a exactly. bigger this one. This one is yeah. the medium yeah. size, like the yeah. two. Kilowatt and the only scooter. difference is like they they accelerate faster. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The acceleration is faster, and if you like drive a lot of hills, oh yeah, hill, yeah. maximum speed is exactly the same. Okay. No matter if you got the one kilowatt maximum speed or is, the is two 50? or six. Yeah. 50 Roughly, kilowatt, like yeah. I think it's 45. 45. I mean, it's. Yeah, but you can reach right yeah. roughly 50. You just can take that out, mm -hmm. take it with you in your home, of course. And then you have the, the, the charger cable at home, the cable at home. Because yeah. we completely full the, the, the battery after like seven hours or something. So mm -hmm. during night, it's completely empty. Yeah. So you just take it with you at home. But basically, if you go somewhere for 50 kilometers you can take everything with you you charge again and then yeah exactly you come you back. Can, so. i mean if you don't have the second battery in here you can just fit in the charging cable oh yeah true. I, I don't i don't have it with me because i've got yeah. the second battery here yeah, you just need to steal the energy somewhere start the engine right yeah you just do that and you see like here the battery status as well oh uh, yeah Takes a while and then shows you the battery status and then now it's already ready to go. That's all. Ah. You, that's all you hear, so it's pretty silent. silent. Okay, so how? D but ah, so it has no like an ignition like no. the normal scooter. No, you just, you just turn the key and then yeah. Cost you like 60 cents per 100 kilometers. kilometers like oh, that's good. Nice. I would say you just go for a ride. Yes, I want to do that. Okay. Bist schon mal Roller gefahren? Ja. It doesn't make a sound. It's broken. <laughs> This is awesome. It's so quiet. Okay, I'll go that way. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Yeah, see have fun. Guys. Have fun. <laughs> Guys, check it out. It's amazing. It, it doesn't make a sound. It, it's just, it just accelerates. It's so awesome.
Cool. I'm done with my test ride. He's having his next test ride now. I really loved it. Uh, I mean, it is so quiet. It still accelerates really fast. I think even faster than a normal scooter. Well, it is like a scooter, but no emission. You know, like 50 kilometers the distance. So that might be a downside because a normal scooter, you know, you could ride longer. Um, but you can charge it at home. You don't have to go to a charging station. Sadly, winter is coming. So I might not buy it now, but I'm tempted for next year. You know, you can go around town quite fast with it. So this is important. This is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I just did this test drive because I'm interested in it. And this looks like a good alternative, a really good alternative to a normal scooter. And this one doesn't pollute the air that you breathe. Enough of that, let's play with my other toy that I already have. The Mavic Pro drone. Quick, the train's here. I've just realized that a lot of people might not know that many of the underground trains in Nuremberg don't have a driver anymore. They're automatic, like these airport shuttles. That's how I was able to do these shots. I wasn't sitting in front with a driver. There's no driver. So I've just had a tiny technical issue. First one, I was doing that circle shot around the tree there. And why I did that was an automatic mode. Uh, the iPhone turned off. So I canceled that automatic mode on the normal remote control and it stopped. But when I tried landing without the iPhone, it just continued hovering a meter over the ground. At some point the iPhone turned on again and I could land. This is why I try to fly where it's safe. There's no danger at all, nothing. Where it's just flying there. It wasn't anything dramatic, it's just that, you know, when you fly these things, be careful because unexpected things can happen and you have to know what to do then. And I mean, in that case, I just tried landing as fast as I could. And now I need to go to lunch, Spanish again, paella. Uh, this time professionally done, not by me. Actually, we're going to have to pay at the exact same place yesterday evening. Yeah, just been away for a while. Spanish, authentic Spanish pay. Uh, here it comes. Buscando la paella. Oh, oh. Mm. That's a paella.